Greetings and welcome back to Pocket Bees. In our last episode, we went over a major update to the game, which included a new foraging system, which means that your workers will now actually go out to the flowers, grab some stuff, come back, drop it off, and keep doing it until, of course, the flower is used up. Very much like pocket ants, except the flowers do get used up a lot quicker. But then again, at that point, you kind of had to stand there and watch. The reason for that is something else that was added to the game, which was an enemy beehive over there. So if your workers go to a flower which has these guys, well, they're going to die, especially if they run into one of the wandering guards which are around. Since then, there have been three updates. One of them was like a fix update, the first one. The second one actually has new functionality. And the one today was like a one-liner, which kind of seems like it might be backing out what happened in the second update. I'm not really sure about that, but I'm really hoping it doesn't because that was something I liked about the second one is that it made something make a little more sense. Anyway, why don't we first go over the three updates and then we'll go out and see them in action, hopefully. Uh, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything in there about what I consider to be the big problem, but we can talk about that in a bit. First, let's check out those updates. All right, this is the first one. This dropped on September 6th. Uh, basically, this has some bug fixes in it. Fix bug where workers would get stuck at the nest entrance on some occasions. All right, I actually mentioned this problem during the previous video. We just didn't see it. What would happen is your guys would get stuck on the outside and wouldn't be able to come in and drop off their goods. Maybe a couple, but certainly not in any way that you're actually going to be able to get resources. So the fact that they actually mentioned that first and it's fixed is a good thing for me. Enemy bee workers will not forage from the rows anymore. I think I understand why that is. It's not a big problem for me at this point in the game. However, if somebody new was starting and one of their guards got killed, maybe their only guard left, if there are enemies around the rows, how are they going to get nectar in order to save up to get them back, you know? So the fact that they're ignoring the rows from here means that you're free to go and get stuff from it and maybe rebuild your forces if you get wiped out. Otherwise, your game is probably over. I think, though, a big part of that is going to be, does the rose always spawn in a good place? I mean, if it's the one closest to you, which there is one on the map that seems to be ignored, then that's fine. So that means you can always go to the rose and get nectar and get honey and you don't have to worry about having your guys getting attacked, right? But of course, all you're going to get is like the, the red dew. You're not going to get the hibiscus or the pansy or anything like that to feed up your creatures. That's what I'm talking about. And fix some bugs with enemy bee physics. Well, I saw some amazing tricks taking place in the enemy hive. I hope that's what they were talking about. And then we have bug fixes. A generic one. All right, now let's go to the significant one. All right, instantly you can see this one is a lot bigger. And it starts off with a new offline gathering system. All right, minimum 10 minutes. I don't know, does that mean you can actually make it more than that? I'm, I'm, it doesn't say if it actually added anything, so I don't know if it can be more than that. Minimum chamber level two. I'm guessing that means you're going to have to upgrade whatever chamber you're gathering from at least once. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And it's not really hard to do in the beginning. Workers need to be set to gather the resources and the source needs to be selected. All right. I'm guessing also if the source gets eaten up, they're just going to stop doing it. I mean, if there's only a little bit left on the flower then it's not going to run for 10 minutes. It's just going to gather what's there and then go away. At least I'm guessing that's the way that is. There is a chance of losing workers if the enemy bees on the map are still there when you're offline. In other words, if you think everything is going to be safe by just leaving the game if the enemy bees are out, you're wrong. Does that mean they're going to get slaughtered in the same way as if you're there? I have no idea. 
probably it'll be comparable, I'm guessing. Um, but we're going to have to see about that. That's another thing is the, yeah, we're going to get into a whole discussion about the, uh, the enemy hive. Because that's kind of my big problem with the game at the moment. Not counting the PvP, which I don't even know if they're working on that. All right, we're going to skip down to the next section. And this is a little bit strange. This is good, but then we're going to see about it. Reduce the amount of resources obtained from ladybugs. All right, that's not the one I'm talking about right now. But the thing is, I went and I tested and I got nearly 300 honey. So I think it used to be about 400. So, I mean, they did reduce it, but not a lot. So, I mean, the thing is, if you go out and get it 10 times, you are getting a lot of resources and you really didn't even need to go to flowers or anything like that because you were just getting so much. So, yeah, reducing that one. I mean, it's free stuff, especially since you're flying around and not walking around and you can see exactly where they are now. See, that was the thing in, in Pocket Ants. Your little guy was walking around and you had no idea where it was. Well, you can see it now on the map, so... Yeah, reducing that is not such a bad thing. Creatures can now be mummified with one shot. Oh my, that was so necessary. Because the thing is, when they were right outside, right near where your resin is, it's one thing. But if they're at the bottom of the screen, and you have to go all the way up and all the way down, and sometimes they needed three shots, and the timer would run out. So the thing is that that was just a pain. I mean, if you're going to move them somewhere else, then make it one shot. And I'm really glad they, uh, they changed that. I just hope it's still like that. If the creature is not mummified before the time is out, it will disappear. Yeah, okay, that's good. I mean, in the last episode, we ran into a hummingbird, and I didn't want the hummingbird, so I just like, okay, he's unconscious. Now just go. I, just, I had to go back and remove him, and it was a pain. I didn't want the hummingbird. It was a terrible stats, but I knew it was going to be terrible stats. I didn't want to deal with it because running back and forth with the resin for something I didn't want was just a pain. In uh, pocket ants, if you wanted to kill a creature, you can just kill the creature. And that's all I'm asking for. In fact, that advantage is now if I don't want it, terrific. Reduce mummify timer. Okay, so I'm guessing what that means is that because you only have to shoot it once, that you don't need all that time. That's fine. As long as we're doing it once, that's good. And then, of course, the immortal bug fixes. And now, what they put out today. One line. Readjusted mummify timer and shots required to capture. Did they just roll back all that good stuff? We're going to have to test that. But if they roll back all that good stuff they just had in the previous update, yeah, I'll be peeved. So that's actually one of the first thing I want to try. I want to try that first because we saw on the map that there's a spider right above me. So is he a one-shot mummifying? That's what I want to know. So let's just do that first. Because that would be... See, if it's right up here, like the spider, it's not a big deal. But if it's at the bottom of the screen and you have to run back and forth, it is a big deal. All right, and I need you guys because I need him sleeping in order to do this. Here, hold on a second. Here. Okay, whoa! Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay, could you go up there and help? Hold on. There we go. All right. Ugh. If I start hitting the resin button, it should stop. That's all. Okay, he's sleeping again. All right, let's watch the timer first. Okay, let's see. How quick is the timer going? Okay, you guys get lost. Okay, it's going slow. Okay, it was a one shot. Good. Um, maybe when they said readjusted the timer, maybe it depends on the creature. Since this is a common, maybe it was one shot. The thing about it is all the... Go oh, here, hold a second. Okay, could you just like... Yeah, I hit the button, it should stop moving, that's all. Let's see how much this guy gives us. That's not so great. But I mean, like I did, I saw like very nearly 300. So maybe there's a wider range now. 
All right, so what we have to do now, of course, is um, we have to get rid of these. So that first resin right there on the bottom, directly underneath the water, I'm wondering if that's the rose. It would kind of have to be the rose. If the rose would spawn in the back, then it doesn't matter if they're uh, ignoring it or not because they might be walking right past it which means your guys are going to get attacked anyway and you won't be able to do anything about it. So let's just head down that way. Let's start killing them. Um, I have to say, at the moment, what I've seen so far, it's way too punitive to do this. See, here's the thing. They keep putting conquer the enemy bee nest in there every day. You have to do that, right? And you can't gather from plants that you want to gather while this is going on. The problem is not what's going on on the outside. The problem is what's inside. When you have all of those guards bunched around the queen and they all move at grease lightning unlike you, then it's ridiculously difficult to actually do this, much more than it needs to be. I think a better way of doing this would be you have to defeat all the guards on the outside and scatter them around in order to enter the hive. Then you can just kill the queen if everybody else is dead too. The thing is that if there's like like eight to ten of them, there's no way you can beat them. You're just it's just needlessly punitive. That's what I'm talking about. I would rather have the hive locked until they're all beaten on the outside. And no, don't put them all next to the tree. Like, I mean, that's... Uh, at least you can fly. That's all I can say. And here's the thing. You either give us more of these guys, make them stronger, or uh, make them so that you can um, get them back quicker. That's all. Because it still takes a minute to get them. And that's way too much. All right, so let's see here. That's a... Um, okay, oh, oh, we got guards. We got a guard... Okay, down here, kill the guard, kill the guard, kill the guard, kill the guard. And stop with the pushing thing. Seriously, stop with the pushing. Okay, here, could you take care of him? All right, and I think 46 is a little bit ridiculous, but that's just me. All right, let's pick some off up here. All right, um, let's see. Okay, and there's a guard. Kill the guard, kill the guard, kill the guard. Kill him. All right, and let's go down here. Okay, uh, there's a wasp there, isn't there? Yeah, why isn't the wasp attacking them? Okay, can you... Okay, quit. Okay, get over there, get over there. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I could have sworn I just squirted them. Okay, I am taking massive losses now. Okay, he's done. All right, get back over here, whoever's alive. All right, and yeah, a minute for each one is kind of ridiculous. Could you get over here? Okay, they're all dead. All right, fine, they're all dead. All right, let's uh, call in some help here. And let's wait four minutes instead of three minutes. I could have sworn that I uh, got them with the resin there too. So not really sure what's up with that. Oh, by the way, uh, I missed them. I didn't want to move in there. I mean, if he's here anyway, let's just go get him. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I got... Um, it was 298... I think it was nectar, so I mean, I, I thought everything was fine, but uh, obviously, okay, just kill them, please. Kill that one. That's a worker. Okay, kill that one. That's a worker. All right, what do we have here? That's a worker. Kill that. Good. What do we have over here? There's another worker. Kill that. I mean, this is a lot of work. Why are we doing all of this work? What is the payoff? The fact that I can actually gather resources 
Maybe I'll get five to ten gems. I mean, this is just needlessly tedious. And this isn't even the hard part. The hard part is when you go into the nest. Okay, can you guys just do this? It'd be nice if they actually... So th this is one part they're going to have to deal with. Um, like I said, this, this doesn't really bother me very much. Except, of course, that the guards are much stronger than your guys. I saw a one-on-one -on -one fight. I just stood there and watched it. Both of them started with no health, and my guy didn't stand a chance. I have no idea why they're so much stronger. Okay. Okay. Uh, boom, there we go. All right. I have no idea why they're so much stronger. They should really be equal to that of my guards, but they're not. Unless you're going to do a few of them. But clearly there's like three or four times the number, which kind of makes the whole thing kind of BSE. All right, kill these, kill these. All right. Yeah, because they're all on the inside, aren't they? All right, and oops. Oh, no, 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 no. You can. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, can we get. All right, kill that one. Okay, yep, yep, and kill him, kill him, kill him. All right, and how much is on the outside now? Oh, is it just the guards? Oh, that, oh no, this here's a worker. Here's a worker. Kill that. All right, and now we got to try to separate them because my six against his four means my six die. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, get over here, get over here. Okay. Quick, quick. Why did you abandon your friend? Oh, what is... AI fix, please. AI fix. If your guys are fighting... If your guys are fighting, the, the others should go to help. Always. They should never just fly away. Okay, so there's nothing on the outside now. Which means there's 17 on the inside. How many of those are going to be... Um, how many of those are going to be guards? If I go in there and I see that they're all guards, I'm just leaving. Because that's just ridiculous. First of all, they have a massive, um, they have a massive advantage inside because they're not slow walking. They're grease lightning. Okay, what do we got? Oh, oh, I, I, should, I shouldn't be in here without a mouthful. Not that it matters if they come after me. It doesn't stop them. All right, what do we got? Okay, um, come on, guys. Come over here. A couple of you, please. Hello. I mean, that's ridiculous. Look at that. Okay, come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. What are you doing? Get over there. The problem is if I try to go over there, they're just going to destroy me. Will you get over there? Get in there. Oh. Look, just, just look at that. And they're all dead. Yeah, I mean, there is where your um, fixes should be. There's no way there should be that many guards inside. That is just complete ball. And here's the thing. I'm not playing this game. Uh, the last time I played this game was actually the last video. Although I did test it a little bit afterwards. But I mean, that's just ridiculous. You don't stand any chance whatsoever. There shouldn't be anything on the inside. The guards should all be on the outside. They should be a reasonable number. Not like 17 like we just saw. I mean... Even if there were a couple workers in there, there was more than a dozen, right? Easily more than a dozen. And they have every advantage in there because they can move fast and my bees are stupid, right? Because you can't actually get them to go over there and such like that. 
So as it exists now, I consider it to be unplayable. So that's where your fixes need to be. There's things you can do. Like I said, lock the hive until all the bees on the outside are dead. Then you can scatter more of the, um, the guys around. See, the guys who are guarding on the outside, you were kind of able to do something regarding that because I went up, I grabbed some more resin, went down, grabbed some more resin. You can even call reinforcements. You can't do that when you're inside the other uh, hive. It basically says, oh, you can't call anybody, which is kind of baloney because you could do that in pocket ants, by the way. And the thing is, they're so much stronger. There shouldn't be that many when my guy is configured to take six. You know, what are they configured for the strongest configuration that you can have if you have every upgrade? I think even then, you'd have a lot of trouble with all the guys that are in there. So I spent a bunch of time doing that, and I would have to get all of them back, go back again, lose all of them, maybe kill a couple, go back and do it again, go back and do it again, go back and do it again. And why am I doing it? Why? So that I can complete this and maybe get five to ten gems and maybe, maybe just be able to send my workers out to gather resources. That is the big problem. That's what they need to fix. Until then, and then, of course, they have to fix the uh, PvP. But here's something. You guys just introduced this now. So you created problems. I like what you did with a lot of this, but they are just way too strong. And this is a big problem, in my opinion. So I will be waiting for fixes of that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.